what we produce, I'm just going to say this and then maybe flush it out a bit more later. The problem is that what we can, what we produce from that system of mythology, from that, from that, from that reality, bears the imprint of its assumptions. So one of the core assumptions is the separation of uh, subject and object, uh, and a conception of self that holds us as um, separate beings, separate individuals interacting with each other in an objective universe. Like that is one of the deep assumptions. And we can see how that precept of separation has materialized in the works of our civilization. For example, the uh, disintegration of communities, uh, the um, uh, concentration of wealth that comes through the competition that is inevitable when we see ourselves as separate from each other. Uh, for example, ecocide and the destruction of nature, which is an outpicturing of the view of ourselves as separate from nature, turning nature into an object of utilitarian self-interest maximization. It becomes uh, an instrument of our utility when we see it as something separate from ourselves and as something that can be reduced in essence to the sum of its parts. So where is the sacredness? If all at bottom, if it's nothing but varying permutations of atoms and void, varying combinations of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So, so, we, so the imprint of our metaphysical scientific assumptions plays out in the works of a civilization that draws from that, that science. So that might make us want to, uh, to, to question the religion of science.